Taking a look at SE Ranking, an all-inclusive SEO software. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from Daytips.com, helping serious entrepreneurs like you to boost sales to your products and services online using simple but super effective online marketing tips and tricks. So if you are a serious entrepreneur, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification button as well so you never miss a tip that could help you to boost your online earnings. So this video is sponsored by SE Ranking. Now they reached out to me and they asked me to review their software. They have an all-inclusive SEO software, which hopefully will help some of you guys to run some of your SEO campaigns, whether you're doing it for your own website or maybe you have clients. Um, so I'm literally just going to be taking a look through their site today and some of the features um, uh, that they have available. So as you can see, I'm actually on their website now and I quickly wanted to go over some of their features because I probably won't be able to speak about all of them in this one video, but at least you can actually see what they have available. So underneath the features tab, they have SEO tools. And firstly, they have their keyword rank tracker. So as you can see, it actually shows you uh, your results and where you're currently ranking in all of the major search engines, including Google, Bing, YouTube, Yahoo and Yandex. Now, the one that really stands out to me, obviously, as a YouTuber is the YouTube uh, aspect of it. Now, now, I haven't really seen another software that can actually analyze where you're positioning and where you're currently ranking uh, for different keywords in YouTube. So that could be something that kind of stands out in comparison to other softwares. Um, you can also see all locations as well. So where you're ranking in different locations and how well you rank on different devices as well. So this is super important for you guys. Uh, if you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, you will know that a ranking factor for your website is actually how uh, well your website shows up on mobile devices. So is your website mobile friendly? And this could give you an indication of, wait a minute, maybe my mobile, maybe my website's mobile friendly, but I'm not ranking as well uh, on mobile devices. So that might be something that you want to make a, a change to. Um, it also gives you results in terms of your Google ads, your maps and your search engine results pages. Um, and it shows you information about how well you are ranking with regards to that as well. And you can also track some of your competition. So. I'm actually going to look at some of their other features. They have website audit features as well. So you can literally uh, have an audit for your entire website and have those reports sent to you. You can even schedule reports to be sent to you uh, as well through your email inbox. So that be can be something quite useful as well because, you know, it can be difficult to keep on top of your marketing tasks from month to month. So if you have those rep reports scheduled and emailed to you, then that can make life a lot easier. Uh, you also have on-page checker, backlink checker, which is really important as well. Um, I do speak on this channel about the importance of backlinks. So you can check where your backlinks are coming from. Um, and if there's any links that are broken as well, you can make those checks and make those changes. So that can really help you to boost your overall domain authority of your website. If you have really high quality backlinks coming back to your website. Um, also, it has a keyword suggestion tool, which is really cool as well. So uh, once you actually plug your website into SE ranking and you include some of the keywords you want to be found for, they actually suggest keywords that you might want to consider trying to rank for as well, which is always great. It's always useful. Um, and then you can see some SEO slash PPC competitor research. And there's some B2B features as well, such as white label. So if you are someone who is running SEO campaigns on behalf of clients, then you can white label your reports, which means you can put your company's logo uh, and kind of imagery on the reports that you send to your clients rather than it being um, SE ranking. So that can make you look a lot more uh, professional um, as well. And then they have the lead generator, the SEO reporting tools and the API. And they also have social media management features as well. So I'm actually going to click on projects and show you a little sneak peek behind uh, the back end and show you how it looks if you go and create an account. Now they do have a free trial as well. So I highly recommend if you're on the fence or you just want to see what SE ranking was all about, then go and click the link in the description down below to SE rankings website. 
go and sign up for the free trial have a play about with it plug your website in see how well you're doing do your give yourself an seo audit with se ranking and you know have a play about with the different features use a free trial to see if you can improve your seo in any way shape or form and if you find that it's benefiting you and uh, you're enjoying it and your your website is benefiting from it then by all means continue uh, with it so i'm going to click on to projects and this takes me onto the in, into the inside of se ranking now what you actually want to do is click on add a website and you can plug your website in here so i'm actually going to use an example here of amazon and results search results page so you can select 100 or you can select 200 i'm going to click 200 here and i'm going to click on next and here you can actually manually plug in some keywords that you might want to rank for so i might if this was my website then i might want to rank for uh coat hat let's say trainers as well and then you will put any keywords there that you actually want to want to be ranking for so you can check you can import keywords as well so if you click on that button you can import it from google analytics or from a csv file or you can Im import from uh, csv slash xls with position uh, history you can also suggest keywords so this again will suggest to you keywords based on your website so um this could be really cool if you've missed out any keywords that maybe you could potentially be trying to rank for then this could be a great way to, to kind of see what those keywords are um, and then if you find a keyword that you think wait a minute that's a cool keyword uh, you can literally just click on it and click this arrow button here and it will kind of push it over to this side for you and then you can add your four keywords and you can see up there it says keywords were added then you can go to next and you can select your search engine so uh, because we haven't done a youtube channel the youtube one's not available but if i put my youtube channel url in then i could have selected youtube but you can use bing yahoo yandex uh, yandex mobile google mobile or google i'm just going to select google and remember to select your location as well because i'm based in the united kingdom i'm going to select that but you can literally see how you're ranking in different areas as well if you're a business that wants to be ranking in different countries then you can select the country specifically and see how well you're doing for that particular country uh, you can also specify a location as well so i'm going to put london because that's where i'm based and then i'm going to click next and then in this section you can actually add your competitors so if you know who your direct competitors are in the search engines then you can list them here you can also suggest competitors and se ranking will suggest competitors for you now this could be really crucial actually when you think about it because competitors are not necessarily always a bad thing competitors can be a good thing and if there's competitors who are competing for the keywords in the search engines that you're competing for and they're doing well when they, they're having success in the search engines then you can actually identify them using se ranking and using this feature and you can go ahead go to their website and see what kinds of strategies they're implementing and see if you can implement any strategies similar as well to help you boost your own search engine rankings as well so look there's websites on here that i've never seen before but you know you can actually click them and add these as competitors and see what they're doing and seeing if you see if you can get any ideas from there really um, and then once you've finished you can connect to your google analytics or connect to google search console um, i recommend that you do do that because it will give you some really useful insights but i'm going to click on finish and it will give you up here a graph of your average position um, and that's your kind of average ranking position at, at the moment and you can see your traffic forecast as well so this forecasts based on your ranking positions how much traffic you should see coming to your website search visibility you can see as well uh, down here so you can see all of those insights and then when you scroll down you can see if you click on the website in question 
you can see the keywords that we have actually added in, which is for uh, the domain authority of that particular website. You can see the indexed pages as well. So once you've added all of that information, you can see kind of a general graph of your average ranking position. You can also see your traffic forecast, your search visibility and your percentage of uh, kind of keywords in the top 10. Um, but once you go up here to projects, you can identify the project that you've just created. So this was the Amazon one. And then you can see your rankings. Uh, you can see your analytics and traffic. You can see a report on your competitors or you can have a marketing plan. You can have a website audit. Uh, you can see a backlink monitor um, just to kind of get more details about the overall SEO for that particular site. So I'm going to go to competitors and you can see directly uh, your website and your competitors, the ones that you've put in and you can see your domain authority compared to theirs. And, you know, you might not even have realized that they've got, you know, quite a high domain authority. So for example, this site I've never heard of before. Um, they've got quite a high domain authority with regards to, you know, comparing it to Amazon. You can see all of the indexed pages that they've got as well in comparison to yours. Um, and you can see that the rankings updated when it was last updated. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a kind of an, an eye opener into SE ranking and what their website is all about. Um, I highly recommend going to their website, getting a free trial, plug your website in. It's not going to cost you anything and analyze your website. Start seeing where you're ranking, what keywords you're ranking for, who are your major competitors in the search engines. Uh, make use of that free trial um, and kind of see as much data as you can and send yourself reports give yourself a website audit i'm also going to leave a video in the description down below um, that se ranking have put together which will give you a full tutorial on how to use their software effectively so make sure you go and check that out as well um, but there's no harm in starting your free trial and plugging your website in see who your competitors are see if you can get any insight from their website in terms of what things they're doing that you might want to include on your website get some keyword suggestions as well um, if you're doing youtube marketing plug your youtube channel in and see how well your youtube channel is performing in search as well um, so again all of those links will be in the description down below um, and there'll be a special discount as well if you sign up for se ranking via the uh, link in the description so make sure you check that out as well but i really do hope that this video helped you out and if it did then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend if you have any additional questions or comments then leave them for me in the comment section but until next time watch some of my other great videos make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content download the formula and i'll see you soon